This is like the daily board of wondering how hard the ride is going to be today. Two chili peppers. There's two chili peppers. What is but also uh, it's poquito spicy on the probably temperature. The what does two, two chili peppers mean? I don't know. That's Rafa's scoring system. I'm not sure which one. Because I don't think two chili this peppers. one's two. No, or if it's like the whole thing is, is roughly two chili peppers. Right. But at least Cole Kessler was here. Oh, there's a Cole Kessler sighting. All right. <laughs> hey, everyone. What's up? It's the Orange Helmet Guy here. Well, it's another beautiful day here in Southern California and I'm at the top of my favorite climb, Payuma in Malibu, California. Yesterday kicked off the second week of the winter epic training series by Sirius Cycling. Let's jump to yesterday's video and show you guys how it went. Do you know what the what we're doing today? Yes, but I'm not sure if we're taking Decker from PCH back up or Ensignal back up. I really hope it's the latter. I know, I know you from the west side from last time. Yes, right? yeah, we met a few months ago. This little kid right here is super quick. Going with the medium ride, right? Are you going with the winter ride? Oh, man. It was supposed to be an easy day, and now we have to chase around a lightweight. to the winter epic training series with Sirius Cycling. I hear we're going to Rock Store again today and doing another standing effort. So the goal by the end of this camp is to increase the cadence and do a full standing effort on Rock Store. So this is just part of that training. Last week we did the same thing and I didn't really get video of that because it's hard to film and stand at the same time but today I think maybe I'll just sit in a couple areas and film some other people standing. Alan, All right, oh. pretend you're not oh suffering. You're week two, Scott, what's the plan today? Week two, we're adding 10 miles, a thousand feet. We're gonna start it off with everybody's favorite, climbing rock store out of the saddle. Zone two, 65 RPM or 60. higher. So I was confused last week. When you say zone two, but out of the saddle, what are you referring to zone two, the power? So zone two is a mix of like power or heart rate, whatever, whatever works for you, but you should be able to have a conversation just like this. Some people are gonna breathe heavy, but you should still be able to talk. We're getting all of the muscles in our body used to an effort and preparing for adding distance and then later speed. It's one of the funner times of year because we're not killing ourselves, we're trying to kill each other. All right, and then we do another a sprint at the top again? Yeah, so we like to kind of add a little sprint at the top when you've been just going long and slow like that, just to kind of keep some tension in the legs. All right, from the boss man himself, we're headed to the bottom of Rock Store now. Good group today. Yeah. Probably like double the size of last week. Yeah, nice to see more people coming. Which is really out. nice. Really cool. <laughs> Hey. All right, we're on the Rock Store climb. Here's the instructions from the boss. Week two, second time up Rock Store. The idea is you're gonna climb all the way up out of the saddle. Try to maintain 65 RPMs or more. It's a lot easier to do at 50. But that's not the exercise. If you need to sit down, sit down. Try to keep your RPMs above 75 when you're sitting. Recover and then stand back up. When we get to the top, there's that hairpin left, right? So it kind of flattens out and then you got the final stretch to the top. I want you guys to pace it all the way to the top so that you're in a full sprint the last 40, 50 meters. So you're gonna open it up, pick up the speed during that straight. It's longer than you think. Make sure you keep enough in the tank to finish really strong at the top. Okay, the way this works is, if you beat other people to the top, you turn around, you ride back down to the last person, and you ride up with the last person. You carry all right, here's the start the of the standing effort. I'm gonna stay seated to get some video of some people standing. job. Awesome. Just finished the uh, standing rock store effort with the effort at the top. Legs feel good. A little spicy. How do you feel? Feel great. Thanks Brian and Rafa. 
Did you sit at all? Never. I don't think I saw you sit. No, I stood the whole time. I Painful. sat twice, in all fairness, once was to get video of him. So, here comes a good effort, good job. Good job. It's a beautiful day, how'd that feel, Aiden? Oh my God. Better than the last week? Yeah. Better yeah. than last week. Yeah. I was sitting on 400. Yep, same. Until I stood. Good job, oh. man. All right, let's go check in with the rest of everyone and catch our breath a little bit. Good job, good job. Let's go, push if you got it, push, push. There we go, push, push, almost there. Good job, good job. There we go, good job. All right, so now I'm heading back down. Uh, the drill is to go find the last person on the climb and finish the climb with them. I think that's him right over there. What a beautiful day. There we go. All right. The perfect excuse to not doing another effort is being the videographer. All right, let's go to the top. We just finished our standing effort on Rock Store, week two of the winter training camp. So for me at least, this week has felt a lot better than last. I feel like my legs are maybe just starting to come around. Looking forward to what the next few weeks brings. How'd your effort feel? Felt great. How good? Yeah, I did well. 17 minutes off the saddle. All right. <laughs> good stuff. How about yours? Good. Doing good? Well, mostly zone two, 90% of the time probably. Okay. Good. I didn't time myself, but I was able to talk the whole time. So I think I kept a good effort. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't see the lightweight people ahead of me. <laughs> I was behind so. you the whole time. Yeah, we did. Oh, well, we stopped. We, we good. Had a well, Mr. Weightlifter should have actually been the best up this. Oh with these, look at these quads, my goodness. All right, we're heading up uh, Insinol, then going down Decker to the coast and then back up Insinol again. Not sure if we're gonna do any type of climbing drills on Insinol, but we'll wait and see. Coffee. What do you think, cookie stop? Cookie stop. Maybe some coffee too. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna veto this ride and get cookies and coffee right now. <laughs> All right, so we just came down Decker. This is the Decker hairpins. We have a couple more riders here coming down. We're heading down to the coast. Then we're gonna go north for about uh, maybe three minutes on PCH and then back up Ensenal. All right, so we've just come off the coast, heading up Ensenal Canyon. Beautiful view. I stopped for a nature break, so everyone's a little ahead. So I'm gonna work my way back up and then just uh, fall into the pack. We're going zone two today. So again, conversational pace. What a day. Beautiful. Stuff. Look at this lookout. Oh, yeah. We are just getting a great day. Not too hot. A little, little humidity. Making the skin shimmer. Shiny like fish. Yes. How are you feeling, Jay? Feeling good. Good, man. Loving it. Going to. Don't be offended if I just put music over this, okay? You're good, dude. <laughs> For a lot of us, we're lifting weights the day before these rides, and we're doing this twice a week. So lift Tuesday, ride Wednesday, lift Friday, ride Saturday. The weights, if you're lifting, are pretty heavy. Most of the riding we're doing is, you know, 85 RPM zone two, not 60 RPM. So if you're not lifting, maybe you're doing calisthenics, but you want to get a little more resistance, you can be doing this at low RPM zone two. That's going to be more like 60. The idea is to keep tension on the chain all the way yeah, I was like, oh, shit. around the <laughs> pedal stroke. The temptation is to just push down, whether you're spinning or doing low cadence. 
that's not what we're doing here. So I'm doing 85, 86, and my hammies are on fire right now. But I'm only doing 210 watts. There you go. Thank you, Scott. And I am not lifting weights, so I am opting for a 60 cadence. My hammies are burning. Good. And I'm trying to pull all the way through the pedal stroke. One-handed, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's extra credit. So this is the great part of this uh, team and this training camp is that when you get to the top, you turn around and you find the last person and you ride with them back. So just a great way to build that team camaraderie. So there you have it. So yesterday was really uh, dynamic cycling, a lot of uh, good efforts out of the saddle. That rock store climb was about 15 minutes and then the big ring up in Sonoma was about 36 minutes yesterday. The legs are feeling tired and heavy today, so I'm just going out for a little spin to flush out some of that lactic acid and of course to enjoy this beautiful weather. I think one of the things that I've learned already from this cycling camp is my zone two range maybe is too hard all the time. So when I go out riding by myself, I'm not riding with anyone and it's very hard for me to gauge my effort. And looking down at my power and heart rate maybe just isn't enough because more often than not, I find myself pushing it more than I should be. So with that said, I think maybe I've been overtraining a little bit and that's probably why I have such heavy legs and why I felt really bad on the bike for the like the last few months. So with this training camp, what we're gonna do is be adding 10 miles and 1,000 feet every week. So the first week was 30 miles, 3,000. Yesterday was 40 miles and 4,000. So that means next week is gonna be 50 miles and 5,000. All right, well, I'm getting bit up by all these flies that are out here. So I'm off to the lake to go meet the wife and puppy for some coffee. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, the Orange Helmet Guy, out. <laughs>